top five undervalued Pokemon cards time, and I'm rocking purple today. Must be the day of the Mewtwo. Let's go. What's going on, Funhouse crew? Welcome back to the channel, TCG Funhouse, where we talk all things Pokemon TCG. That is right. It is Monday, so you know that means we're going to be talking about undervalued and underappreciated Pokemon TCG cards that are worth adding to your collection right now. And we are talking about Mewtwo today, everybody's favorite legendary Pokemon and Last two weeks, we've gone over Charizard, we've gone over Pikachu, so if you guys are interested in those lists, you can find those in the description below. You might see some cards up here, it might be a playlist, I don't know, but you guys can find it. It's over on the channel, and make sure you guys drop a sub and smash that like button. It really, really helps us out. Stay tuned to the end of today's video, because we have an awesome giveaway going on for the entire month of September, and you're going to want those entry details that are at the very end of this video. Well, without further ado, let's start talking about Mewtwo. I love Mewtwo, you love Mewtwo, everybody loves Mewtwo, and starting off today's list with the number five card that you want to add to your collection is the Full Art Mewtwo GX from Shining Legends. And there's only one reason why this card is on the list. It is so affordable for a Full Art card. Artwork is great. All purple background, phenomenal, matches my shirt, matches my little hat thing right here. What do you call that, a snap, my snap back? Um, but yeah, this card, you can get it right now in near mint condition over on TCG Player and eBay for about $8, seven to $8 in near mint condition. It's about as affordable as this card has ever been. It's been hovering right around that $10 marker for a very long time, that $9, 10 marker, and it has gone down to like seven to eight bucks. I don't see this card falling much more before it increases in price and starts heading the other direction when people go, wait a minute, this card is quite affordable. It is quite undervalued. I'm going to pick some up, aka me. Um, but yeah, this card in near mint condition, there's about 40 of them over on TCG Player right now, so it's not overly inflated on the supply side, and demand is low for it as well because the ta the, the GX, as I can say tag team, the GX is are still kind of not caught up right now with the announcement of the EX cards that has some focus. Of course, V cards for Sword and Shield GX is kind of in the shadows right now. A nice little area to start picking these cards up and starting off the list is the GX Full Art from Shining Legends. Coming in at number four, I'm gonna break a little bit of my own rules here, is actually two cards. It's the first time I've done it since bringing the list back. I'm giving you two cards and one selection, and you'll see why. I'm going with the XY Breakthrough Gold Border Secret Rares, the full art cards, and I couldn't decide which one that I wanted to go with, and I also didn't want them taking up two different slots on the list, right? So I was like, I'll just put them in one spot. Uh, the, the red bordered background, where you got Magnazone and Chestnut is absolutely phenomenal. And the blue border background featuring Haxorus and Meloetta, phenomenal artworks. That's right, I went like this so I can just confirm who they were. Phenomenal artworks. They're both about the same price, about $35 to $36 in near mint condition market price over on TCG Player. Great buys, guys. We're talking about secret rares. There's not that many out there. There is not that many out there. It is a secret rare. It is during the X and Y era before the big boom happened, right? So Pokemon printing was actually really at a minimum around black and white in X and Y era. Sun and Moon had a small resurgence because of Pokemon Go. Um, and then Evolutions at the end of X and Y brought a lot back as well. And then of course, Sword and Shield had the massive boom. So the X and Y era is just sitting right there, ripe for the picking. And full art Mewtwo cards, legendary Pokemon, one of the faces of Pokemon all together sitting there with gold border secret rare cards. Absolutely phenomenal. 35 bucks is a steal. I can really see these cards doubling, tripling, quadrupling in price down the road as time goes on. Worth buying and adding to your collection right now. Halfway on the list, guys, and this is a card that I still cannot believe is continuing to come down in price. Of course, I'm talking about the Hidden Face Shiny Mewtwo GX Full Art card. This is one of my favorite cards in the history of Pokemon. When we first started doing 
our channel back in late 2019, right before Hidden Fates came out. It was Unified Minds Time. This was our first really, really big hit. It was our first big hit from our Hidden Fates openings, and it was really our first big hit on the channel, and we pulled multiples of these. So this card holds a very warm spot in my heart, and it was $100 for a very, very, very long time. And then it dropped about $80, and it sat around $80 for a very, very, very long time. And then now it has just been dropping in price like crazy over the past three, four, five, six months, and it is still on its downward spiral where it's around 40 bucks. You can find this in near mint condition for in between like 38 and 42 dollars, depending on what day it is, which is a steal, an absolute steal for this card. I pulled this card, got it graded, PSA 10, sold it for 365 dollars about two years ago absolutely insane this card is a steal it's a shiny it's a full art it's from the most popular set in the entire sun and moon era people are going to remember hidden fates they are going to talk about hidden fates for a very very long time and this mewtwo gx in my opinion should be the second best card in the entire set and i do think it will rise and it will double it will triple it will be a very very good investment and worth adding collection right now it's mewtwo it's shiny it's amazing it's great pick it up before I buy every single one of them. So now that we're number two, and I said earlier that I broke my rules by giving you two cards in one slot, how about four cards in one slot? But these four cards make up one picture. That's right, I'm going with the Mewtwo V Union card. When you put all four of them together, that's the one I'm talking about, not the jumbo card, not each individual piece, but this four piece master set of this Mewtwo V Union is going to be highly, highly collectible. Just look at the double cards that were back during the gold and silver area, I do believe, or the, the heart gold, soul silver, with the Dark Rye and Cresselia and the Lugia and Ho-Oh, uh, Groudon Kyogre. And these cards are going to fall in that category because I really don't know if we're going to get any more V Unions. I think V Union was kind of like a failed attempt for the Pokemon TCG. It, did really, it didn't really It did really go well. People don't really play it in the tournaments. Um, it really didn't do what it was supposed to do. So now we're stuck with these four-piece collector cards that are going to be phenomenal. So picking these up in near mint condition, you get the whole set of them right now for about $15 where you buy your Pokemon singles for a four-piece master set of this. And it is so beautiful. Like over on TCG Player, there's only 50 of these available in its entirety. You can buy it piece by piece over time if you are really low on funds and you want to save that money. That is okay. You can get each individual piece for three to four bucks depending on which one it is. But this set is going to be phenomenal. Just imagine 20 years from now stumbling across a perfectly mint condition four piece Mewtwo V Union just together. Huge investment. I think it's so much potential. This is easily going to be one of the most sought after things inside of the Sword and Shield era at the end of the day. And people are not talking about it. They are not talking about it. I think Greninja is a great buy as well. I'm not sure about Zacian. I'm not sure about more, more Peko. But the Mewtwo and the Greninja are going to be huge collector's pieces, especially that Mewtwo. Go out and buy some right now. Get one of those little four po those little four pocket binders and just load it up full of Mewtwo cards. You will not be sorry. Gold medal time. That's right. The winner of the most undervalued Mewtwo card in the entire Pokemon TCG. And if you've watched my last two videos, you're not going to be surprised to see this. I'm going with the Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX Full Art Alternate Art that came inside the Tag Team 10s. This is my favorite artwork of the entire Sun and Moon era. This may be one of my top five favorite artworks of all time. It is Grouchy Mewtwo and Happy Mew just not getting along in one beautiful, majestic art of a card. Absolutely phenomenal. This card goes for about $23 to $25 in near mint condition, which is funny because that was actually the price of the 10 itself when it released, guys. So when these tens released, it was $24.99. You got five booster packs inside and this promo card. Talk about an investment. Buying those tens up and being able to turn around now and sell these Mewtwo Mew cards for $25 a piece, which I wouldn't. I think they're going to go up in price, but you would have gotten all those packs for free at the end of the day. And that's how you play the Pokemon TCG game when you find 
cards and sets and product like those. Huge, huge buys. There's no way this card is not going to be extraordinarily uh, sought after. Alternate arts are at an all-time high right now. Again, if they stop printing alternate arts coming in Generation 9, Scarlet and Violet, you can really expect all alternate art cards to rise. I keep saying alternate art, and it's driving me crazy. It is alternate art cards. Whew. Alternate art farts. Anyway, buy this card right now, guys. I have a few for my collection. I actually have nine of them. I have an entire page just lined up. It looks great. It looks phenomenal. If you guys are into that, do, do that because it looks it's, it's so cool. But that's what I have, and I'm really thinking about doing a second page at this point just because I love this card so much. So pick it up. Again, you won't be sorry for adding this card to your collection. All right, guys, that's it. That is my top five undervalued and underappreciated Mewtwo cards that you can buy right now for steals in the Pokemon TCG market. Absolutely just, just great, great stuff. I love Mewtwo, everybody's favorite legendary. Let me know down in the comment section, what was your favorite card on today's list? Do you have a different Mewtwo card that you are adding to your collection? And which one do you completely disagree with? I love talking to you guys down there. Let's chat about it. But I know you're here for one reason, and that's to smash that like button, maybe join a membership. Just kidding, you want those entry details for the September giveaway, and here they are, right now. That's right, we are bringing the giveaways back to TCG Funhouse here in the month of September, and we are giving away the brand new set, Lost Origins. That's right, for the entire month of September, we have an Elite Trainer Box giveaway going on, and all you have to do to earn your entries for this particular video is make sure you're a subscriber, hit the like button on this video, and leave a comment down below and you can do that on every single video in the month of September for more entries one entry per video and then we will give it away during a live stream at the end of the month guys it's gonna be so much fun I'll see you there